Hello, YouTube! It's been a while, baby, but I'm back and better than ever. I apologize for short break and absence, you know, life gets in the way. But we're back and we react to another video by Haminations. It's good to be back and it's good to be reacting to the king of animations. As always, if there's an animation on YouTube, I will give y'all my best reaction to the video and I will tell y'all how it really is. Eh, let's give it up to the king of animations, Haminations himself. Let's get to it, baby. I love that intro. Welcome to Hogwarts, students. Okay. A magical school that is totally safe all the time. <laughs> Ooh. Mr. Bryson, no flying into Great Hall. <laughs> Don't worry, I can control this broom perfectly fine. <laughs> oh. Yo, leave it to Bryson to always have some violence in his videos, dude. He's just, that's, I man, that's what he's known for. He's just a wild guy. Yeah. Brilliant. Ah! <laughs> Yo, I, I, I. It just gets crazier and crazier. Like, I, I really think every single video just gets more and more and more dangerous. Like, Bryson, relax. Hi, I'm Bryson, and today I want to tell you about all the things I was obsessed with when I was a kid. Let's start with the first one. <laughs> I was obsessed with trains as a kid, especially <gasps> Thomas the Tank Engine. Wow, Bryson, trains are stupid. Why don't you play with Yo, Bryson, chill, dude. Trains are awesome. What are you Action talking? Action figures or something. I used to watch the show, my parents got me the little wooden toys of the trains, and my dad even made me a train table to play with them on. Thomas, look out! There's a child on the tracks! Oh no, his brakes are broken! He can't stop! <laughs> they are now dead. Thomas is tormented by his actions and turns himself in to the train authorities. Thomas is charged with one count of accidental manslaughter and will face ten years in train prison. Honey? I think Bryson overheard you watching Forensic Files again. <laughs> I loved Thomas so much that my parents even took me to meet Thomas in real life. Oh. See? There he is. Not creepy oh, wow. at all. I love trains so much that I created my own train sona. Bryson the Tank Engine. Choo choo! That's not true. My favorite part of the show was watching the trains crash. There was one episode where Gordon crashed through a bunch of stuff and basically died. Masterpiece. Also, speaking of the show, I don't approve of the new CG Thomas stuff. Ugh! I only like the original stuff where they used actual mo- Wait, there's a new Thomas? I didn't even know that. I actually did not know there was a new Thomas. Like, I, I must be in the dark. ...model trains, and then crashed those model trains into stuff. One time when I was like three, I was making a crash scene with my trains, and I accidentally crashed them a bit too hard, and Thomas oh. got a little bit of his paint chipped off. <gasps> and this bothered me. He was no longer perfect. So what did I do? I flushed him down the toilet, of course. Yo. His parents must, like, when the, imagine, like, hiring a plumber. Like, the plumber comes over, is like, hey, what happened? Oh, you know, my son just, you know, put the train in the toilet. Bryson, you're a wild guy, bro. <laughs> a while later, my parents realized that the toilet was clogged. My parents called a plumber, and after hours of trying, the plumber angrily said, Ugh. Yo, I really called it. I really called it. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I've never encountered a toilet I can't unclog. You're gonna need to buy a new toilet. So they let the plumber smash the toilet open to see what had clogged it. It was a big wad of toilet paper, and at the center was my Thomas train. So we got a new toilet, and I got a new Thomas. Imagine wow. being a plumber and having your perfect record broken by none other than Thomas the Tank Engine. My heart goes <laughs> out to that guy. Anyways, a while later, Thomas got chipped again, so obviously, I flushed it again. Bryson! Fortunately, my dad managed to fish that one out, and he said to my mom, maybe you should get him a toy that he can't flush. Also, do you think we should Either? spank him? Yes. <laughs> okay, on to the next. 
Whoa. Whoa. It's obsession. Harry Potter, woo! I've loved this stuff since I was a kid. Me and my friends used to run around the playground holding sticks and pretending to be wizards. In fact, this one kid, Josh, and his family were super into Harry Potter as well, so much so that the mom made it a rule that you couldn't point a wand at someone and say the killing curse. You do know that magic isn't real, right? <laughs> yeah, they were a weird family. They were also all redheads, just like- Probably like really religious, because some religious families, they're like, yo, no, 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 no. Like, I, I, I mean, I understand. The you know, Weasleys. So that was the first red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Hair color stereotypes are not nice. Gingers do have souls. Whatever you say, stupid blonde. Oh. That one is actually true in my case. Wow. I'm still gonna beat you up though. I understand. <sighs> Look, I'm feeling generous today, so I'm gonna give you a pass. But know this, if you ever cross me again, I will end you. Understood? Uh, understood, Th thank you. Also, one time on the trampoline, Josh got gum in my hair and I never forgave him for that. Avada Kedavra! <laughs> Oh shoot, magic is real. Guess He's so. just tired. I also loved it when my parents would let me get Harry Potter Legos, cause then I got to build the magical world I loved so much. I liked being able to build cool stuff. Legos are cool. Wow, Bryson, you still build Legos? Grow up, Legos are toys. <laughs> <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> It's a highly sophisticated interlocking brick system. The box for this one said ages 8 to 14. That's a suggestion. Anyway, back Whoa. to Harry Potter. The sorting ceremony will now begin. Mr. <laughs> Bryson, please. Yeah, yo, yo. Me. I actually didn't think about that. How do we go from Harry Potter to what were we even just talking about? I, I don't know. That was a weird transition, Bryson. Wow. <laughs> oh, I know just what to do with you. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Team Hufflepuff, stand up, baby. Hey, yo, yo, in the comments below, let me know if you're Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. Hey, man, spam the comment. Let me know where you stand, baby. Crying. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was pretty upset when I took the online test and figured yeah. out that I really am a Hufflepuff, AKA a disappointment. I was also sad when I turned 11 and didn't receive a Hogwarts acceptance letter. Turns out Hogwarts isn't real. It's a hard pill that you just gotta swallow. The reality shifting community is still struggling with that one. Actually, Bryson, reality shifting is real. This TikTok told me so. And you can project your consciousness to other realities and... Nope, not real. Moving on. Harry Potter will always hold a special place in my heart because it inspired me to be a creative and imaginative person. And that the most powerful magic of all is love. I love you. The, the power, it's, it's too much. <laughs> See, look how powerful my love is. He's fine, by the way. He's, he's just oh. tired. Actually, that gives me an idea. Hey, Voldemort, you dare utter my name, you filthy mudblood. I love oh. you. <laughs> Imagine if that's all it really took to kill Voldemort. Just go, Voldemort. <laughs> like, I, like, I love you. Really, that's really all it takes. Wow, okay. See? Love! Woohoo! Now let's go on a date, Harry. Wait, Whoa. um, I mean Harry Potter isn't real. Ha ha ha. Anyways. Pause! <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'll play it. Hey, hey. Hey, whatever floats your boat, my guy, you know. Hey, uh. They made an entire theme park of Harry Potter, and it's freaking awesome and magical and mm, I like it. In fact, when I went there, I got chosen to do the wand shop ceremony thing. Give Ooh. the wand a wave and we'll see if it's meant for you. When Guardian Leviosa. Everyone knows that spell. He's just tired. Next obsession, animals. I used to love catching frogs and then racing them against each other. If my hey, friend had a pet, I- My real Bryson fans knows that he has a pet turtle. Well, ha yeah, he's, I think he still has that pet turtle too. Hey, I mean, this man does love animals. This is not cat. I would insist on holding it and petting it. In fact, my discovery of YouTube was just me watching videos of hamsters for hours on end what? and begging my parents to let me get one. And eventually they finally caved and got me one. The day I got him, me and my family were watching the B movie. So oh, I named my hamster movie. Barry. 
short for Barry B. Benson, of course. <laughs> but then I decided to introduce Barry to my dog, Duke, without consulting my parents. Rest in peace, Duke. Duke slowly sat down, gave him a sniff, and very gingerly murdered <gasps> Barry right in oh front of me. Oh my goodness. Mom! And that's why I don't watch the B-movie anymore. Rest Whoa. in peace, Barry. The next morning, Mom took me to the pet store and got me another one. I named him Oreo, and he lived a long, happy, natural hamster life of two years. They don't live that Yeah, you know you can also get your hamsters, like, cages, like, like, because, I don't know, they like, like, really big environments. Don't ask me how I know this, man. I, 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 I love hamsters, too. <laughs> Not long. Also, one time I was at a friend's house, and he had two little twin brothers. They were given two pet guinea pigs <gasps> the day before, but they had already died. Oh, wow. Because the boys were convinced that guinea pigs could fly. Jesus. So they took them on the trampoline no way. and tested their theory. No way. Rest in peace. Anyway, no at that way. time, I also had a pet guinea pig named Link. And the boys, with tears in their eyes, asked, Our guinea pigs died. Can we have your guinea pig? And that was when I learned the valuable no. lesson of how to say no to people. <laughs> Speaking of death, I've mentioned that my parents keep chickens in the backyard, and one of them is named Ham. Well, Ham is actually Ham too. Rest in peace, Ham One. My sister's dog got her. Hey, yo, like, hey, I'm a dog person, but keep these dogs away from other animals. Sheesh. Man. On a more positive note, meet my new son. His name is Bo, and he's a dog. How can a dog be my son? He's adopted. Duh. He is cute, and I love him, and you should love him too. Him and our family dog do Dixie him. are friends, but Dixie is getting pretty old, so he's a little too high energy for her sometimes. I've been bombarding my friends with pictures of Bo, and they are so tired of it. So <laughs> now, I can bombard you with them. Look at him, he's so cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bo is hey, two years old my and my rescued- My dog people stand up, baby. My dog people stand up. ...him from an animal shelter in January of this year. And I'm glad to have him. Aww. He can be a stinker though. He is a total thief. He steals stuff off the counter all the time and he chews on stuff he's not supposed to chew, but I'm working on training him the best I can. However, one time I had to go to the store, so I left Bo home in his crate. He had been doing good in the crate the last few times I left him in there, so I thought we were gonna be okay. But this time was different. Instead of accepting his fate like usual, he spent all his energy trying to get out of the crate by biting yep. it from the inside. And in doing so, he broke one of his bottom teeth. <gasps> that was so sad. Oh but was no longer perfect. So what did I do? I flushed him down the toilet, of course. Jeez. I know he's joking. Oh. No. But I was really sad that he hurt himself in the crate, so I actually want to get him a tooth replacement. He's honestly such a silly baby boy, and I love him so much. He's very handsome, and I get compliments on him all the time. Hey, mm -hmm. that's a good-looking dog. Sick him! <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, that nice. was a joke. He's very friendly with people and other dogs. So, this video was all about my childhood obsessions, but I have a confession. All of these obsessions have persisted into adulthood. I knew I it. I still love animals, and I, I still it. love trains. I'm not obsessed with Thomas anymore, but I still just like the way steam trains look. I even have two electric trains, the Polar Express and the Hogwarts oh Express. Also, so far as animals go, I've got Bo and my two pet tortoises. I knew it. See, my real Bryson fans knew about the turtles already. My real Bryson fans already knew. Myself. I want a pet pig, a pet duck, and a parrot, no. and a lizard, and no. another dog. No. I mean, I moved out of my parents' house so I can do whatever I want, but I gotta hold back so that my home doesn't become a zoo. And I'm also still obsessed with Harry Potter. I've got like all the Lego sets of them, and I carved and painted my own wand, and I rewatch all the movies once every few months. <laughs> so, since all my childhood obsessions have persisted, we can conclude that I am still a child. Yes. A little baby man. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, stupid baby! Wait, oh. what? You've become so predictable, Bryson. Now it's my turn. <laughs> 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 Hello. It's hey, been a while. Hey, 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 hey. I appreciate y'all. If you made it to the end of the video, I love you guys. It's been so long, but I'm gonna be back, man. This is I love doing this. I really do. I apologize for the break, but I'm back, baby. Hey, as always, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and stay clean. I love you guys. Peace.